Here I'm going to show you how to find the area of these two circles. And to find the area of these two circles, you need to know, know that the formula is area is equal to pi r squared. And in this case, what we're going to do is replace each of these symbols up here with a value if we know it. So a, we don't know the area. That's what we're trying to figure out. Pi, we know. That's 3.14. R squared means the radius times the radius again. In this case, the radius is 3. So we're going to multiply 3 times 3 again. We know that 3 times 3 is 9. So now we need to multiply 3.14 times 9 in order to get the area. So over here on scratch paper, we're going to multiply 3.14 times 9. 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, carry the 1. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28. Since there's two decimal places, we're going to move it over two places. So in this case, the area is 28.26 centimeters raised to the power of 2, centimeters squared. Now in this circle down here, we're going to find the area, and again, we're going to use a is equal to pi r squared. And we're going to replace each of these uh, symbols with a value if we know it. We don't know the area. We know that pi is 3.14. Now, in this case, r squared, we are not going to use the number 20. 20 is the diameter. r is the radius, so we only want 10. So we're going to multiply 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 is 100. So we are going to do 3.14 times 100 is equal to A. And everybody knows that when you're multiplying by 100, all you have to do is move the decimal over two places. So we know that the area in this case is 314 centimeters squared. And that's our answer.